Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and there was a Nintendo Direct Mini that happened today, and it was a good one. There was a lot of stuff in there that I'm sure a lot of people are hyped for, myself included. Persona, Persona, Persona! But what I want to talk about today is that seemingly out of nowhere, to my knowledge at least, Square Enix has decided that they're going to follow in Rune Factory's footsteps a little bit? Wha okay, alright, let's see. Let's check it out. Why not? So, Harvest Stella. This is the game. So according to the Direct, it's a life simulation RPG where we'll be living in the town of Leafy? Did they say, did they say Leafy? Yeah, yeah, Leafy. It's a really cute looking village and right off the bat they show us the seasons and they look beautiful. Not only that, but this game looks beautiful. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from Square Enix themselves. They're known to make their games look really good, and Harvest Stella is no exception. Now, I am a fan of Rune Factory 5's art style and direction, but for me personally, at least, this blows it out of the water. Let me know what you think about that. But let's take a look at the game itself and the familiar farming elements it has. So here's the house we'll be living in, and you can see a little bit of our field from here. I like the look of this house, it's nice. I also love actually living in our own house, so I'm glad that's here. And we're also shown a clip of tending to our crops. Here are both the animations we got to see, and the animation for tilling the field is kind of rough. But watering the field actually looks really cool. It's nice, it's quick, it's snappy, looks good. I like the look of the field from what little we saw of it. I'm sure its appearance will change from season to season. Some things look a little weird, but for that and the animation, keep in mind this game is still in development, so we'll see where everything ends up. But we also got to see some cooking. Pretty simple, no Rune Factory Frontier type of minigame to go along with it. Which, okay, hold on, am I the only one who's kind of sad about that? I actually don't know if that was popular or not. I liked the Rune Factory Frontier minigames for, you know, cooking and crafting, but what do you think of them? Were, were they bad? Were they good? I don't know. I enjoyed them. Maybe they weren't popular. I don't know. Let me know. But the narrator for the Direct also said crafting alongside cooking, even though we didn't get to see the crafting in the trailer. Let's just hope we can't craft any of those makers, you know what I'm saying? But it does make sense that crafting would be in this game, because like I said, taking a page out of Rune Factory's book, there is combat in this game. So monster drops. Makes sense. What's cool, or what I think is cool, is there's a world map that you traverse to get from area to area. Which means that the town is going to be its own isolated area, maybe even two areas because of your farm. So hopefully that means it'll be easier to optimize the game and get a handle on its performance. Fingers crossed there. Really hoping. But yeah, I am a fan of this world map, especially because I like how it looks. Again, I'm just a fan of this entire game's look and art style. Now for the combat. It looks cool. Of course it looks cool, it's combat. And from this first clip here, it looks like they're actually taking a bit of influence from Final Fantasy in the sense of jobs. The little side menu pops up and it looks like you can swap jobs on the fly, which will swap weapons for you, which I am very excited about for two big reasons that come to mind when I see this. One, I want to see if there are like, you know, custom combos you can pull off between multiple jobs and weapons that the community might find that weren't really intended, but do work. Like, I don't know, comboing an enemy into the air with a short sword, then switching to a great sword in the air and slamming them down. I think stuff like that is cool. And two, if our weapons are bound to jobs, does that mean that each job will have its own stats and be able to level up? That would be really cool, and would add even more progression to a game where, I mean, it's a farming sim, it's going to have a lot of progression on its own in the first place. But there are also skills over here on the right that you can use in the middle of combat. Maybe you get those from leveling certain jobs up. Maybe there's a skill tree, you know, I love my skill trees. There's a lot of questions I have, because even though we were shown quite a bit of the game, there's a lot to it. For those of you that were interested in seeing magic though, here it is. Super flashy, super cool, it looks awesome. I'm a fan of everything this game is showing me so far. But on top of that, this game has a pretty cool sounding story as well. So there's apparently a fifth season in this game, and I assume it shows up kind of whenever it wants to. It's known as the Season of Death and is called Quietus. During this season, crops wither, nobody wants to come out of their homes, and the sky looks really cool, even though it's a bad thing, you know? But it looks really cool. I also assume that enemies might grow stronger during this season, and maybe even special enemies or bosses may appear, which is why nobody wants to go outside to add to that kind of feeling of danger. Also, I don't know if it'll actually last an entire season. That might be a bit much, especially with crops not being able to grow. But who knows? Like I said before, lots of questions. However, it's going to be up to you to find a way to stop this season of death. Super intriguing. I love it. I can't wait to learn more. It's also fitting that the RPG story of a farming sim has a fifth season, which is a season of death. That's just cool to me. 
Like I said, I'm excited to learn more. Now I want to show you a bunch of little stuff, which I honestly didn't have a solid place to put throughout this video, but hey, check this out! This game is so pretty! I like- I just love the art style. I cannot wait to walk around in this world. Also, speaking of looks, 2D character portraits are in this game, so no worries there. Looks like minor characters won't have them from what we've seen, but there are a few recurring characters throughout this trailer that all have 2D portraits, and they look fantastic too. Speaking of those recurring characters, though, there was absolutely no mention of gift giving or romance or marriage in this trailer, which is a big part of farming sims for me. Even the combat filled ones like Rune Factory. So we'll have to wait and see if that's really not a thing, but it wasn't mentioned here at all, and I would have expected it to be mentioned in the announcement trailer. Maybe they felt it wouldn't fit the game? Maybe this story is just going to be a lot darker than we expected. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if it really isn't going to be a thing. So far, it's looking like it's not. Not a make or break for me personally, though. The game looks wonderful already, so although it will be a little disappointing, not a make or break. However, the main character can be seen petting this monster, which is really cute, and it has a saddle, so it does look like we'll be able to befriend monsters at least. And overall, I would expect it to work like Rune Factory, where you can take them into dungeons and also collect produce and stuff from them day to day, so that's cool to see. At least we can have friends and monsters. And of course, the release date. Harvest Stella will be coming out this year and is scheduled to release November 4th. But yeah, who expected this? If this was talked about before, let me know, but this came out of nowhere for me and I was pleasantly surprised. The art style, the combat, just the fact that there is some type of job system, and I do hope it's more in-depth than just switching weapons. Then you have the story, and then you throw all the farming stuff on top of that, and I am there, as I'm sure a lot of you are too. So let me know what you think about it. Just coming off of Rune Factory 5, I know a lot of you loved it and a lot of you were disappointed. What do you think when seeing this? And what do you think about another big name like Square Enix getting into this type of genre? And also, did you see the direct today? Did you have a favorite moment from it? And one last question, is No Marriage in Harvestella a make or break for you? Because I know a lot of you look forward to that mechanic every farming sim. Let me know down below because that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next one.